Hi, I'm John Decker, PGA instructor and author of the book, Golf Is My Life, Glorifying God Through the Game. Today I want to work with you on chipping. And a chip shot is a shot where we get the ball on the green as soon as possible and we roll the, roll the ball to the hole. Um, we do not want the ball to go in the air. Now the ball will go in the air some to carry to the green. So we are going to be using the loft of the club. But typically when I chip, I'm going to be using anywhere from a six iron to a pitching wedge. Sometimes I'll use a gap wedge or sand wedge if I'm going downhill on really fast greens. But the majority of my chip shots are done with uh, eight irons, nine irons, pitching wedges. Now I have a pitching wedge here and it really doesn't matter what club selection I use for this drill. Um, the drill is going to be the same no matter what club I use. The main thing that I look at when I watch students chip is I see a lot of missed hits. And it really doesn't matter uh, what club you use. If you don't hit your shot solid, you're not going to get a, hit a very good chip. And the biggest reason why I see a lot of miss hits is I see a lot of movement. So the first thing that I want to do is get my feet close together and set my weight to the left, just like I did in the Flamingo. I would recommend if you're struggling with your chipping, I've also done a tip on the Flamingo drill, and that's on this website as well. Take a look at that, and that'll help you. But with this drill, we're going to talk more about the angle of approach. Now, I have two golf balls here. I have the golf ball that I'm going to be hitting, and I have this golf ball, which I put the length of my grip, pretty much the length of my grip behind the ball. And what this allows me to do is it allows me, I want to go over that back ball and then hit the front ball, okay? So it's going to go just like this. And when I do that, I'm going to hit a nice solid shot. That ball hit on the green, and it's going to roll to, roll to the hole. To ensure that I create this, the correct angle of approach, there's several things I do. Number one is I choke down on the club, just like this. I do not hold it at the very end. I do this. Now, what this allows me to do is this allows me to move closer to the ball. And by moving closer to the ball, my swing will go more up and down. Remember, I'm only trying to hit this ball a couple of yards. I'm going to allow the roll to do all the work. My feet are close together. I pull my left foot back a little bit, and I set my weight. Notice where I've set all my weight over in my left-hand side like this. Okay? And then I put the ball behind it right here, and I just use that as a, a feel. Now, a lot of times when I see people... If you swing and you hit that back ball, then you're not setting your weight far enough to the left. So by setting the, the weight to my left, which I've done right here, so I've set my weight to the left, this basically is setting my shoulders like this. I want the club to swing on my shoulder line. So this allows the club to swing up and down, just like that. So I'm going to set up, feet close together, set my weight left, and then I'm going to make the club go up and down, just like that. Nice, solid shot. Ball's on the green. It's going to roll to the hole. Then you just have to experiment with different clubs. If you have a long pin way away, use like a 7-iron or an 8-iron. If you have a closer pin, maybe a pitching wedge or a 9-iron. Um, and, and, you know, stick to those clubs. If, if you go to your sand wedge, the only time I would chip with a sand wedge or a gap wedge is I've got to be going downhill. Uh, other than that, I'm going to be using, uh, you know, my, usually my pitching wedge or 9-iron and 8-iron. Those are the predominant uh, clubs that I'm going to use for these shots. You know, this shot requires some practice, and it's, one, it's crazy. Uh, it's, it's hard to believe that you can hit two really good shots and get right here and then hit your next shot, and it goes two feet, or you hit your next shot, and you skull it over the green, and you're in the bunker. I see, we see that all the time. I know that you've experienced that. The reason that's happening is that you're not setting your weight left, you're not creating the up and down motion that you want to create in chipping. It's not a level swing. You want to get that club up in the air, abruptly in the air. And by doing this drill, the two ball drill, just like this, you'll hit it solid every time. And when you hit them solid, you're going to do much better at controlling your distance. You're going to have to experiment with different club selections when you practice, and you are going to have to practice this. But when you go out on the golf course, you can take away the fear and the anxiety of sculling it or hitting the, the ball that only goes a couple of feet. Work on the two-ball drill, and you're going to lower your scores.